Here are a few things to keep in mind before we get started. Make sure the clearance between the backsplash, faucet, fixture, and cabinets is acceptable for the new lavatory. If you're replacing an existing lavatory, be certain to shut off the water supply before removing the old sink. You also want to follow the manufacturer's instructions for the proper installation of your specific countertop. You'll want to gather the following items before you start the installation. A leveling tool, screwdrivers, caulking, and saws. And you'll want to identify and organize the hardware included. You'll see your sink, hardware kit, and template. Let's start with an under counter installation. We're going to use our template to locate the position of our sink on the above portion of our counter. Hold up a bit alongside your jigsaw blade and choose one just a little larger than the blade. Drill a half inch pilot hole on the inside of the cut line. Use a saber saw to cut out the countertop opening. Here's a pro tip. You'll want to waterproof any exposed areas of wood. Turn the lavatory upside down and mark the wood screw holes. Drill a 3 8 by a half inch deep hole. If called for, be certain to apply a bead of sealing putty on the underside of the drain to ensure a watertight seal between the sink and the drain. Don't forget to remove any excess putty. Mount the drain assembly on the sink. After checking the fit and alignment of the sink to the cutout, apply an even bead of silicone adhesive to the rim of the sink. Center the bowl over the cutout and place it. Once your new Groa is in its proper place, simply tighten the screws to secure the bowl to the countertop. And, of course, remove any excess sealant from inside the lip. Mount your faucet on the sink, following the manufacturer's instructions. Connect your supply line to the faucet, just finger tight, and carefully bend the tubes to engage the supply shutoff valves. Now tighten the connections at both the faucet and shutoff valves. Don't over tighten these. Like most things plumbing, snug is all you need. Connect your trap to the drain assembly. Check the alignment and hand tighten. Remember, in some instances, it may be necessary to cut off part of the tailpiece or part of the horizontal leg of the trap. That extra material can get in the way of storage. One final check to ensure all the joints are secured for watertight assembly. And your Groa under the counter installation is complete.